In Animal Crossing New Horizons, the world is full of tons of different personalities. Well, eight to be exact, which might not be too many, but on your island, you could have a mix of cranky, snooty, and peppy villagers. Or you could have an entire island full of lazy villagers that eat hot dogs all day. That is completely your call. I thought it'd be fun to make a ranking video of all eight Animal Crossing personalities from worst to best, just to see which personality trait is actually better than the other. This is all my opinion, so if you disagree, please comment down below why your cranky wolves are the best animal of all time. So I based my decisions off three factors. The conversations you have with the villagers, their interests and how they act in general to others, and the villagers that come from that personality trait group. Okay, with all that said, let's get right into the top eight. And number eight, as much as I love reality shows about rich people like the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I was really uncomfortable so this because is, this I didn't is truly wanna... a setup. This is truly a setup. What is a setup? I'm done. I'm setup. No, I'm done. what are you talking you about? Did I'm your done. own stuff What are you talking on? about? The snooty personality type doesn't translate the best to Animal Crossing. As much as I love a good condescending jab in the gut once in a while, it doesn't feel that good when the gun is pointed to my head every single day when I load in my island. For a game all about chill, sweet, and cute conversations, decorating, collecting, and designing, I find that the snooty personality traits sometimes feel a little out of place in the game. Even when I talk to other villagers, they keep that same snooty attitude to them, and a lot of times I just feel bad for my poor little peppy and jock villagers who are getting picked on by these snotty personalities. There are plenty of times where I really do enjoy their stuck-up nature and their interesting sense of humor, and I really can appreciate the input from a rich and expensive taste, uh, so that I know my island still has many places where it can go. Also, there's so many snooty villagers that I adore and I definitely can take a jab from. Three of my favorite snooty villagers are Anka, Ali, and Francine. Aren't they great? Number seven, the jocks. The jocks in Animal Crossing are definitely one note. As much as I have so much fun with my jock villagers, listening in on every single hot new diet they're trying or how many weights they lifted the night before, I can honestly say that it does get a bit tiring after a while. Just like in real life, I'm not the biggest fan of someone's personality solely revolving around the fact that they're fit and they like to work out. But I gotta say, they really do pull off jokes that I find extremely funny, even if it is somewhat ironically funny. And it's not just me either. When they talk to other villagers, all they can ever talk about is the gym propaganda. Even though they would be incredibly useful if one day our villages get invaded by an enemy island, I sadly have to put the jocks near the bottom of this list. I will say some of them are my favorite of all time, like Bam, who is my most wanted dreamy, and Dom and Rold, who are amazing as well. Uh, basically, where I'm getting at with this list is the personalities sometimes aren't the best, but there are amazing villagers out of every single personality. Before we get to number six, I am going to announce that I'm giving away another million bells to one random person in the comment. To enter to win a million free bells, all you have to do is comment down below your favorite Animal Crossing personality trait and subscribe and ring the bell. Okay, let's get back to the list. Big Sister at number 6. We've already reached the point on the list where it's kind of hard for me to say negative things about the personality trait, but I will do my best to put my snooty glasses on in the name of a YouTube ranking video about animal friends that are electronic, and I will do my absolute best at this. I'll talk about the positive first, which is very positive about these girlies. When I was growing up, I was an only child. And as amazing as it is to be the only kid in a house getting all the toys and all the TV and computer time, and most importantly for me, getting all the prize attention, I still always wanted an older sister. Not an older brother and a stinky friend who would throw me into a dumpster or whatever big brothers do. I don't know, I, that just seems like something I saw in Cartoon Network growing up. Bottom line, I wanted an older sister really bad in many points of my life life. So I logged into Animal Crossing playing New Leaf as a kid. I really liked the big sister personality. Getting older though, ah, I don't really need a big sister anymore. I kind of fell out of love with the big personality of a big sister personality. 
While it's super cute and they are super duper kind, they are a little bit on the boring side. More boring than normal. They almost feel more normal than normal, which is completely okay because their goal isn't to be insane. Their goal is to be helpful and caring and kind. Not super eccentric, stealing the spotlight kind of obnoxious sister like Candace from Phineas and Ferb. These big sisters are a lot more tame, kind, and they really want to help you. When they talk to other villagers, they're also super caring for them. They always do the best to mediate fights and improve other personalities of other villagers and up their morals a bit. So they definitely do have a good personality, it's just not as exciting as the ones above them on this list. The best big sisters for me are Cherry, Phoebe, and Fuchsia. Great, great, great designs. I really like them. Number five. Now going from the most tame, kind of more boring personality to the opposite, most extreme, the peppy villagers. I have a lot of love and hate relationships with my peppy villagers. As I've had an incredible time playing with them and even turning my peppy villagers into a K-pop group, they do not fail at turning up the party and starting your day with a punch. You can always count on your peppy villagers to sing, dance, and perform their way through the entire day. The downside to them is that they most definitely do get repetitive. I think even worse than the jock villagers. I mean, wow. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the only one going crazy because of how much I notice that they repeat what they say. I mean, I know they can't have a billion conversation options, I'm not saying that, but I particularly notice with the peppy villagers that they repeat what they say extremely often. And boy, when I tell you, I do not want to hear about my peppy villagers and how they'd rather be living in a big city singing for their social media platforms anymore. They even talk to other villagers kind of in a snooty way sometimes because of how they think they're the absolute center of the universe. And, and one of the problems is I think they've got particularly worse this time around in New Horizons because they're all about social media now. They're definitely influenced by current day social media influencers. And as a, you know, a social media person myself, there are times where I do have a really good time with them and they are a lot of fun. They're, I would definitely rather have a personality like the peppy than not have them at all, but they do get a little annoying sometimes. My favorite peppy villagers are apple, ketchup, and pom pom. Now let's look at the second half of the list where things get a little hard, a little dicey. Let's start at number four, cranky. I can't believe I put them this high. For being based on being rude and angry villagers that make the whole entire design and personality traits centered around the idea of being cranky, I gotta say, I love these guys. Underneath the stone cold surface is a warm, caring heart. In Animal Crossing, the designers made the cranky villagers purposely angry and cold to you when you first meet them, but the developers did confirm that the cranky villagers are purposely angry and cold so that when you get to know them and become good friends with them, you'll have a stronger, more meaningful relationship and they'll slowly open up to you like a plant blossoming. Isn't that so cute? Like, th their hearts slowly become warmer and more honest and more nice with you. And I gotta say, I have made the most meaningful and amazing relationships with my cranky villagers. They are really, really warm and sweet in the inside. These dudes just want to make sure your villagers are safe and sound, that we make it home at the end of the night, and even if they act like a boomer forcing us to bed on curfew, you gotta love and appreciate them for it. They just want us safe. The best cranky villagers, in my opinion, are Octavian, Angus, and Apollo. Now we're in the top three, and I'm really surprised to have put the normal villager this high at number three. Who would have thought me, Nikachu, who wants to become a superstar and loves all of the crazy weird personalities in TV and film, would choose the normal personality to be this high at number three? Well, I think let's reel it in for a second, okay? Because I think the normal name is a bit misleading. If I had to rename the normal personality in Animal Crossing, I would probably name it kind or sweet or wholesome, not normal. I think normal's a little harsh. They're always reading a book, watering the flowers, and asking what you're going to be doing for the rest of the day, and they always just make me feel really happy. They feel like you know, someone's out there listening and caring for me. I haven't interacted with a normal villager that I ever disliked. I've always liked every single one of them that I've had. They have nice, meaningful conversations with the player as well as the villagers around them. They make your island a much better place. The best villagers for me are Goldie, Marina, and Lolly from the normal personality group. 
Who doesn't love a good smug villager? I mean, Animal Crossing does such a good job making this real-life personality work so well in-game. A perfect representation of the smug personality is Marshall. He's cute, he's cool, and he acts like he's slightly better than you, and that's completely okay with me. It's like the bad boy who doesn't have enough time for you in real life, and who doesn't love a bad boy? I think the smug villagers have some of the best designs in terms of appearance as well, and also in terms of charm, conversations, and taste, and hobbies, they just have some of the best taste and some of the coolest design choices out of all of Animal Crossing. Some of the best smug villagers include Julian, Marshall, and Kyle. And they go across all different species as well, which I really appreciate. But nothing will beat the number one to me, the lazy villager. It's the Omega, it's the Prime, it's the best personality trait in Animal Crossing. And when you look at the most popular villagers in the game, so many of them are lazy, and for good reason. They're just so dang lovable. They are the villagers who consistently can cause me to laugh out loud. I'm not talking, <laughs> I'm talking like I'm actually belly laughing at what they're saying, which is ridiculous for a video game to make me laugh that hard. You know, the conversations I've had with Zucker are seriously out of this world. Like, literally, he will talk to me about the bugs he ate off the ground for five minutes, and then he tells me he has to go back to hang out with those same bugs at his house. Like, what? They're so weird, but they perfectly represent the kooky, weird, and silly side of Animal Crossing, and that charm that it provides is just so well made with the Lazy Villager. That brings us to the end of the video. If you love my Animal Crossing ranking videos, right in front of you is two boxes of other ranking videos I did. I've ranked the personality types. Uh, now that we're, I've ranked the species types. I've ranked the best villagers of every uh, species. I've done tons of rankings. Go check them out. And remember, if you want to win a million bells in Animal Crossing, in a few weeks I'll be picking someone random from this comment section to win a million bells. So comment down below, subscribe, and ring the bell to register, and I'll see you in the next ranking video, which will probably be the best deer ranked. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!